is up FPG fam welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another punishing gray raven video now for today's video i wanted to go ahead and talk about lucia crimson abyss or also known as alpha because let's be honest that is who we're waiting for that's who we're all waiting for to finally drop at least on the global side so i just wanted to kind of go over her profile go over her skills what you can expect from this character and uh just kind of build a hype around her because she's extremely hype and uh, I, I know a lot of you are waiting for her, like I mentioned. So let's go ahead and jump straight into it. If you do enjoy today's video, drop a like, sub if you're new. We are on our way to 30K. Help us reach that major, major milestone. It'd be greatly appreciated. So uh, let's take a look at Alpha. Um, basically give you a, a brief synopsis. The original Lucia Crimson Abyss, also known as Alpha, became one of the self-proclaimed ascended beings by joining her sister Luna after finding out she is still alive. Now, really quickly, massive shout out to the fandom for Punishing Grey Raven. I will leave a link to their website down in the description below as well. And then we're going to take a look at the skills at this time. So this will be the first time I'm actually reading over these skills. I also wanted to mention that on the fandom, they do note that Alpha is one of the strongest physical sword wield structures in the game. So that is why she's highly uh, touted and anticipated. So let's go ahead and take a look at the red orb for the orb skills. Flash attacks surrounding enemies dealing 12.5, 25, 37.5. 20, 50, 75 percent of physical damage. Three orb consumption will deal an additional, you see the numbers, physical damage upon final strike and send the target flying. Gain super armor during casting. That is huge. Um, if you've been on the channel for any amount of time, you know I love characters that have super armor or hyper armor. It just makes playing the game easier, makes playing the character a lot more fun, and you don't get interrupted. It's always really nice to have that. That's a, actually a strong skill right there. Um, and then moving over to the yellow orb, I almost went past it. Uh, let's take a look at the yellow orb. Dashes and slashes through enemies, damaging them along the way. Uh, dealing, you see the numbers of physical damage. So obviously right out the gate, you're going to know she's all about physical damage. And then if we take a look at the blue orb. Enhanced energy regeneration, movement speed. That's kind of broken. <laughs> and also deals an additional... There you go, physical damage two times per attack when entering sword wave mode and releasing sword waves convert the additional damage into additional sword waves with each dealing that amount of percentage of physical damage. That blue orb seems absurd. Out of all of them that I've seen so far, and you guys can let me know in the comments down below, especially um, my players from the CN version or the other versions that have played alpha, that blue orb seems kinda kinda busted compared to the other ones. The red orb sounds pretty nice as well. And then the yellow orb. I mean, they all sound really, really good, right? But that blue orb just sounds... It, just because it seems like it's doing a whole lot. It seems like there's a lot going on here. So it sounds like that's what you're going to want to ping uh, quite often. And then if we take a look at the active abilities, we have the basic attack. Lucy attacks with five-hit sword style uh, with each sequence, dealing that percentage of physical damage. Enter third se sequence immediately after dodging. That's kind of, kind of awesome. Now, I can already tell that this character seems really fun to play as well, just based off of her kit. And the descriptions of it, she sounds like she's going to be really fun to play. Fluid, uh, seamless between the different attacks, so uh, really excited about that. And then we have the ultimate skill, assaults uh, the enemy with a flurry of slashes, dealing up to a total of, there you go, percentage of physical damage. And then we have the QTE, continuously uppercuts the enemies, dealing a total of 300-600% of physical damage, keeping the enemy airborne throughout the attack duration. That's really nice, keeping them airborne, because that means they can't do anything while they're airborne so you could probably get off some more attacks probably get an ultimate off you know who knows probably a whole lot of stuff going on and then class uh, specific passive damage is increased that's nice you always want damage increase and then the awakening when entering the battle get three signal balls immediately once per battle needs to be on gotcha all right not bad and if we take a look at the passive skill if we take a look at the core after a three orb consumption of blue orbs, consume again any color of three orbs to enter sword wave mode. All orbs will be converted into sword wave orbs and gain an additional of two sword wave orbs. That's kind of a tongue twister. <laughs> Unleash sword waves to the damage, uh, damage the enemy, dealing that amount of uh, physical damage and gain super armor during casting. That's actually really, really nice. That's really cool. Um, interesting. And then the leader skill, all assault type teammates gain an additional increase of 10% attack damage and 5% critical chance. Really nice right there. And if we take a look at the passive after a three orb consumption of red orbs, increase physical damage by 10%, lasts for four seconds. 
really nice. You're just buffing yourself up a little bit more. After exiting sword wave mode, gain two random orbs. Really good. And then uh, during the effects of blue orb consumption, increase physical damage. Yeah, she's just a powerhouse. <laughs> Plain and simple. She's just a powerhouse. She's getting tons of physical damage buffs. Uh, tons of just damage buffs all around. She has in her kit things that are going to help her output the most damage. It's just kind of absurd. And then we have uh, the weapon. Uh, and then the memory set, and then the affixes right here. Does it show this weapon in particular? All right, that's okay. But let's go ahead and take a look at the coatings that we have. And <laughs> I know the one that everybody is hoping will come to the global side, and it, it definitely should. I think it definitely should is this one right here. Uh, and, and you can kind of see why. <laughs> but... Um, the other ones are really, really awesome. Like, this one is absolutely spot on. Uh, this one right here, I am all for that with the hoodie and whatnot. And then this one right here, like, her coatings are just are just really nice. They're not coming out the clearest right now, so I do apologize about that. This is the Grey Feather, um, which, yeah, they look great. I, I think it's just for the character. Um, they look great. And then this is uh, another one. Very subtle differences, but... Nonetheless, uh, she, she looks awesome in any coding that's on there. And yeah, that's basically Alpha in a nutshell. Now, if there's anything that was incorrect on here, once again, my CN or other server uh, players that have Alpha, let me know if there's something that was incorrect or something that wasn't stated correctly here. But I think for the most part, this should be all, you know, on point, right? In terms of that. And uh, this is definitely a character that you're, you know, obviously everybody knows that you should be saving for. Um, don't get tempted by the Karenina banner that's out, and probably, um, I was told Liv's banner's coming out after Karenina's, and then Alpha's, and Alpha should be coming, uh, sometime in August, so, just hold out, that gives you plenty of time to save your black cards, get enough to be able to, you know, get this character, so make sure you're holding out, and then of course, you know, be able to maybe go for the signature weapon as well, but I'm super excited about this character, it's definitely one that I'm waiting for to drop and uh, really round my team out nicely, but anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the video today, I hope you liked what you saw, if you did, once again, drop a like, sub if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one, remember to stand out, be different, have fun, go further beyond in everything that you do, and until next time my boys, until next time, it's your homie Cody GT, and I'm out, bye guys.